So the building pack has been released. Some of you have said it's a little bit gray. That was what I'm going for was the brutalism. But we can always go ahead and add some extra details now with the brand new add-on called Stamp It. So I'm going to select one building, Control I to invert my selection and hide. So let's kind of just work with the one building. Straight into shading. And as you can see, we've got our material set up down the bottom. Very simple. Um, this is pretty much just got an area inclusion and a texture that I've created. Now, if you want these buildings, there's a link in the description, but also on Patreon, which is much cheaper. So with the Shape It add-on already enabled, let's go into mm, the side panel, Shape It, let's go Stamp It, and then I'm gonna press G and it's gonna to snap to a surface. So if I scale that up, press numpad period key, so we zoom in on a bit, and then we can kind of create like a bit of a placeholder. Oh, look at that, it says placeholder. From here, we can click back onto the building and now we've got this extra node in here. If we expand on that, we can throw in a stamp image. So we can either do it here or here. Um, I like to actually go in and do it. So if I press that on the open, I've got a bit of a decals. And once upon a time, I tried to make a transport company, a sci-fi transport company, and this was the logo. If I kind of just align that up like so, and I'm going to scale that on the Y because I just want it on this side of the building. There we go. I mean, technically we can go even larger. And what that is going to do is just put it on the concrete surface is the word. <laughs> so from here back onto the concrete, um, go back over into our little new node set up there. And so now I kind of want to edit this a little bit. First things first, we're going to add in a mixed color and I'm going to dump that one into there. So this line up here, it goes into the alpha. And from here, I'm going to change this to multiply. And if we go all the way up, if we go all the way down, nope, Marco, leave it as mix. If we go all the way up, you can see that it's full color. If we go all the way down, I hate you. That's because this is not white. Let's make that white. And then if we go all the way down, I freaking hate you. Marco, pull your socks up. Don't forget, alpha goes into the factor. So now if we change the color, there we go. Still got the outline, why? Right now, don't care. Let's kind of move on with that. Now I'm gonna clear this out of the way. Um, we will start off with a noise texture, noise. And then from here, we're gonna go into a mm, color ramp. There we go, dump that one into there. Um, factor into the factor, color color into the color and then kind of if we bring these two in you can see how we've kind of got this shading whoop de do about that one let's increase the scales to about 50 and now i've got a whole bunch of points mm, 200 nah. 50 20 sure we'll go with 20 roughness no i want details up to the max to make it nice and clean rather than black and white i'm actually going to go almost like this blue and then we'll go with uh, this blue as well but we're going to make it a bit of more of a darker tinge and same as this one a bit more of a darker tinge and so we've kind of got now this decal it's not even a decal is it classed as a decal i'm not sure if it's classed as a decal because it's on the material so we're not shrink wrapping onto this we're using this empty as our kind of like projection cube Substance Painter does something very similar to that. Let's get back into here, mate. Thank you. Now, if we kind of zoom in, we can see that we've got like a really nice painted look. I don't want that. I actually want the background to come through a little bit. So if we just bring it down a smidgen, now we can see that through the base. I mean... <laughs> anyway idiot so there you go uh this is the stamp it tool quickly be able to stamp on things um one thing i hope i hope he does is to add um their own decal library into this so you can apply your own decals so this image here is just a white transparent image that we've kind of <laughs> mutilated <laughs> that we've edited to kind of create a 
bit of building. Now, if I do an Alt H, we can see that stands out. So, oh, jeez, spicy. Uh, if you've got that problem where you don't see it far enough, and view 2000, there we go. That looks cool.